Hey everyone, Namaskar and welcome to my cooking vlog. On today's menu is a cauliflower and potato curry, pan fried tindura which is also known as kudru or kudri and a mixed dal with carrots served with rice. I have taken a combination of tuvar dal, also sometimes known as tur dal, red lentils that is masoor dal and yellow lentils that is moog dal. You can use a combination of any type of lentils of your choice. Now friends, I always wash my lentils very well before cooking to get rid of any surface dust. I will be adding onions and carrots to the dal and here you see Bo eyeing my carrot. He just loves snacking on carrots so whenever I take out carrots from my refrigerator he just comes rushing up to me. I always use a pressure cooker to cook my dal as it gets cooked pretty fast in it but you can also cook it in a pot. I added the chopped onion, carrot, a whole green chili, salt, a chopped tomato, a teaspoon of turmeric powder and about 3 cups of water. I also like adding a teaspoon of oil so it takes care of the froth from the lentils and then pressure cooker on for 10 minutes. This is known as tindura. It is also sometimes known as kudru or kudri and it is available at any Indian grocery store. It has this little bit of sour note to it and it tastes delicious when pan fried. Just cut the tips from both the ends. If you see any of them too red inside then please discard them. It should be slightly green inside. Little bit of reddish color is okay. Like see the one on the right is little red compared to the one on the left. If it's deep red or orange like this, discard it. I will be also adding sliced onions to this recipe. I added oil to my pan. I love using nigella seeds that is kalunji, also known as kalojire in Bengali. Along with that, I also added cumin seeds that is jeera and a little bit of black mustard seeds. Allow the seeds to splatter. Nigella seeds get burnt very easily, so stir the seeds just for a few seconds and add the kudri. Stir on medium heat for a few minutes till you see brown spots on the kudri. Then I added sliced onions and sprinkled some salt. Next I will be adding two basic spice powders that is turmeric powder and Kashmiri red chilli powder and mix everything very well. My friends this pan fried kudri turns out to be so very delicious. If you get hold of these cute vegetables next time you go to an Indian store Please do buy some and try them. I covered it on medium low heat. Side by side I will start making the potato cauliflower curry. Oil is already heating up. I added panch foron. Panch foron is made up of five type of seeds. It brings in a beautiful flavor to vegetable curries and I am a great fan of panch foron. I even have a video on how to make panch foron so please check that out if you want to use it. Once the seeds start splattering I added potatoes. The potatoes need to be fried till they turn golden brown along the sides. Once they get slightly brown up along the edges, add the cauliflower. I added salt. Fry them on medium high heat and then put a cover on. I also need some chopped tomatoes, green chilies and ginger for this recipe. This is known as a microplane grater and I always use a microplane grater to grate my ginger or garlic and it comes out so fine just like a ginger garlic paste. Like if you do not want to take out your blender then this microplane grater is perfect for making ginger garlic paste. It's my best friend in the kitchen. 
The kudri looks perfect and it is done. You can have this with rice or roti and it is just delicious. The cauliflower has got well fried and has developed these brown spots on them. So I added the chopped tomatoes, the green chilies and grated ginger. I like adding chilies whole like this. In this way the heat is contained within themselves but the curry gets a nice chili flavor. I added a little bit of hot water and covered it on medium low heat. The dal is also done. I will just give a tarka to this. Here oil is warming up in my tarka pan. I added cumin seeds, fenugreek seeds that is methi and a little bit of black mustard seeds. When the seeds start to splatter, I added two dried red chilies and a pinch of hing that is asafoetida. The sizzling tarka now joins the dal and my mixed dal with carrots is all done. I also washed rice and set my rice cooker on. I'm growing these green peppers in my pot. They do not have any heat whatsoever but I like their flavor. I don't even know the name of these peppers. Cauliflower curry is almost done. I added the chopped green peppers and a little bit of garam masala powder and finally coriander leaves that is dhania patta or dhone pata in Bengali. It is such a simple curry with just some basic spices but it turns out really very delicious. Please my friends, please do try it and you will like it. So here my cauliflower potato curry is all done. Rice cooker has also finished its job and it's time to plate up. I hope you enjoyed watching my cooking vlog. Please do let me know if you would like to see more videos like this and I will try my best to, to upload more like this. Please click on the like button if you've enjoyed watching this video. This is Pumbi and thanks for watching. Bye bye.